welcome to Bite Size Piano. In this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to play the piano chords accompaniment part to Fight Song by Rachel Platten. I always thought this was sung by Kelly Clarkson for some reason. Let me know if you thought that as well, if it was just me. <laughs> I'm going to do some singing as well. It's fairly repetitious. I've linked the full chords and lyrics everywhere down below so go and check those out if you find them useful. I'll go through all the parts. The left hand is going to be blue the right hand is going to be colour coded orange. This one's in the key of G major, so on the screen now are all the notes of the scale of G major. So the chords are formed using those notes. Here is middle C on my piano, so I've positioned my camera um, middle, middle C is pretty much the centre today. Some of my octave sound play will be out of shot in both hands, just to warn you, but I appreciate that not everyone has an 88 key piano. The main bulk of what we need is in the mid region. So the verse, so again here is middle C, the right hand is going to play D and G, and the left hand is just going to play this G. So you're going to play them all together, and the right hand plays G, 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 F sharp, F sharp, then you play the D and G again, G, 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 G. So I'll do that again. Like a small boat. And then she starts singing there. Then you do all that again. time, the first bit's the same, you play these that two more times and then you're gonna, left hand's gonna change to an F sharp and the right hand's gonna play two A's, like that. So the first bit goes, like a small boat Setting big waves in a motion, like how a single. And then the left hand is going to start playing chords, and this is where my top note will be out of shot. But if you don't have these high notes, and then you are just going to need to play a single note, a single G anyway. So if, if you do have a full length piano, I'm just playing two Gs there. So sorry, my top one is out of shot. And the left one's going to play an E minor chord. So there's E, G, and B. So you're going to pre press them together. G, 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 G. And then the right hand's going to come up and play A. And the left hand is going to play C suspended second chord. So C sus2, which is C, D, and G. I'm going to play that with the A. And it moves up to B's. So I'll do it again from the E minor and G. And then you can play G5, so just G and D in the left hand, with G back to G's in the right hand, and it goes G, 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 F sharp, G. So I'll do all that verse again now. Like a small boat on the ocean, sending big waves in a motion, like how a single word can make a heart open. So that's how it fits together with the lyrics, more or less. <laughs> and then we're into the pre-chorus, and this is where if you want to start playing octaves in the left hand, you can, but if you don't have the lower notes, just play single notes. So I'll be playing octaves, but occasionally my lowest note will be out of shot, but I'm playing like double notes. So the first chord 
is B, well G major, over B. So G, so B, D, G. I'm going to play that twice. And all those things I didn't say. And that comes up to C, and C in the left hand, and C sus2 in the right hand. So a chord we played before, but with our left hand when we were up here. All those things I didn't say, breaking balls. So we got D in the left hand. In the right hand you're going to play A, D, G. This makes um, a D, I guess a D suspended fourth chord. And then you're going to come up to E and then just bring your thumb in to B there, play it twice. And you're going to go back to the B, so you're already where you need to be in the right hand. Back to the C. And then play the D once. This is my fight song. By the way, I'm not going to belt out. Um, the reason why I sing in the falsetto and like head voice or whatever it's called is because I, my microphone is very sensitive. So if I started to belt out the vocals, it would just completely ruin the sound. So this is why I, I sing quite softly. And all those things I didn't say, Now we're into the chorus. So same G major chord in the right hand. The top voice of each of the chords is going to sort of correspond in line with the vocals. This is my fight song. And that's how I've chosen to arrange or voice the chords. So G's in the left hand, so it's just G major. This is my fight song. Four beats. And then it goes up to. D major, root position, D, F sharp, A. This is my fight song, take back my life song. So that A. Life song, prove I'm all. And then E minor, so you're just moving that up to E, and then E, G, B in the right hand. Right song. So there we've got. C major, first inversion with the C on top, and then obviously C's in the left hand. And you repeat that chord progression twice. This is my fight song, take back my life song, prove I'm a right song. My power's turned on, start a right now, be strong, I'll play my fight song. to E minor. Believes. Back to D major. And then it's off. Cause I've still got a lot of fire left in me. And then you play the G major chord again. So you play the G major chord three times. And then you just move the B to A. Which gives you G sus2 chord. So I do all that chorus again. This is my fight song. Take back my life song. Prove I'm my life song. My power's turned up. Starting right now, I'll be strong. I'll play my life song. And I don't really care if nobody else believes. Cause I've still Uh, by the way, I'm playing extra notes. Again, if you've a regular watch of my videos, I've left a video explaining what I do. I'm not adding extra notes, I'm just repeating notes that are already under my fingers to make it sound more full and more rhythmical. So I'm not going to go over that in this tutorial. 
you need to go watch the videos below where I go over popular accompaniment rhythms and how you can make them sound more full and melodic and just how I was playing it then. And then into the second verse, so you've got E minor chord, choose by octaves if you want, so it's B, E, G with E's in the bass, four beats, and C major root position chord. first inversion chord and then we have that D chord again like we have in the pre-chorus but with F sharp in there you can play the D with that if you want to or you can just play the F sharp and then you repeat that again so into the E minor C major C there and it's into the chorus. This is my fight song. Take back my life song. I will follow my song. My fire is turned up. Standing right now, I'll be strong. I'll play my fight song. Then I do it again if nobody else believes. To the post chorus you're gonna come up and play e minor second inversion with e's in the bass and you're gonna kind of do this We're sort of picking out what the strings are doing is repeating this g so we're basing the inversions around that note two three four and then you just bring your thumb in and then play c so we've got c major and rock it again And then we've got the G major, first inversion this time. And then we've got D major, for uh, second inversion, so A, D, F sharp. And you do that for double the length of time. So I've still got a lot of fire left in me. into the bridge I guess which is like re almost like repeating the first verse again but it's slightly different like a small boat on the ocean setting big waves in the motion I can't seek a word can make a heart open I might only have one match and you're gonna play A and then D and F sharp together. But I can make an explosion. So I'll do that again. Like a small boat on the ocean, setting big waves in a motion. Like how a single word can make a heart open. And then she starts singing the chorus, but there's no instruments there. So you could clap. This is my fight song. Take back my life song. Prove on my right song. My power's turned on. Stand right now, I'm playing strong. I'll play my fight song. And I don't
minor there, which is actually played on guitar. And then you play a C major and just hold that down. Now I've still got a little fire left in me. And it just ends on that C chord. So that's the end of the video, I hope you enjoyed it and that it's useful. If you'd like to leave a piano tutorial request, you need to click on this video, which takes you through to my official request space. You do need to be subscribed, all requests are noted and considered, so I look forward to seeing you over there.